Welcome to a video from the Digital Lifestyle Com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 19635 for Windows Insiders and the Fast Ring. This is just a quick build video today because there's only a few minor changes. In fact, there are no feature changes. There are just fixes and known issues. So let me just talk through the fixes first. The, the fix and issue results in apostrophes in the location not available dialog box, mount file log, and file explorer not being displayed correctly. So uh, that's an unusual one. So apostrophes were not working in some of the dialog boxes. They fixed an issue where uh, search uh, would, have unexpectedly, uh, would unexpectedly be disabled. They fixed an issue with some uh, cellular data. So if you're using this with um, a, like a Surface Pro X with a, a SIM card in it and data on it, then uh, that wouldn't work. They fixed some uh, issues with uh, searching in settings, depending on your resolution. And they fixed some issues with uh, the program compatibility monitor and uh, they fixed some flickering issues as well as the camera showing some unexpected artifacts. Now all these issues that they've just mentioned in the release notes I haven't seen any of those on, on my uh, Surface Go which is running the fast ring and also this virtual machine that I'm running now. Okay well the known issues are they're looking at issues with uh, some Devices crashing with eMMC storage, so that's like the 64 gig Surface Go was one of those item devices. Uh, still looking at reports of hanging the uh, extended periods during the installations, I haven't seen those. And still some issues with the settings privacy document uh, icon. Um, and they're also looking at reports of taskbar preview thumbnails are rendering consistently. Now they said they fixed this in a previous build. And I think they had on my machine, I did have it on an early build, and I think mine are working okay. So those are the issues on there. So that's it for the changes with this build. I can't show you some more. I think pretty soon, maybe uh, next month, we'll start to see the uh, next development of Windows 10. And on there, we'll start to get some new features. At the moment, I think they're just getting the end of year development out and ready to go because the May 2020 update is now available, and you can get that if you have a compatible device through Windows Update or you can get the tools and I've got a guide on the digitallifestyle.com how to sort that out. So that's it for this video. It's just short and sweet. You can get me on Twitter at isdixon or the digitallifestyle.com. Thanks for watching.